a multimillionaire looking to form a partnership with the Bahamas government and invest in the lives of young Bahamians by putting them on the cutting edge of technology. Joan Davis Roll has the story. The educational system in the Bahamas, through the Ministry of Education, could become the beneficiary of advancements in technology. This following the recent visit of the world's youngest entrepreneur, millionaire Suhas Sobanath. The computer guru, who was president of Global Incorporated with companies in 11 countries around the world, said his passion is inspiring young people to run with the message of Yes, I Can. As a company, we are very much looking forward to make an investment here, especially uh, to see if we could work with education institutions in Bahamas. So um, I'm hoping to call on the Honorable Minister, Mr. Ba uh, Mr. Bannister, uh, the Minister of Education, and, uh, and to see if there are any synergies. Up While on Grand Bahamas, Sobhanath stated that he plans to use his affiliation with an international body to provide some much-needed assistance for this country's next generation of business leaders. I also hold a role with the World Economic Forum, so uh, I've already spoken to Mr. Darwell to see if uh, the World Economic Forum uh, would, want to, would want to set up a hub here for Global Shapers community where we want to select uh, 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 select those global shapers. We want to select those those youth who are in the age group of uh, of 18 to 30 years, uh, who are in the process of achieving something and who still haven't reached the top, but who want to do something. So we want Mr. We want Mr. Sarwell's office to help us to select these youth and and to be part of the World Economic Forum community. The native of Bangalore, India, who recently returned home, said he's looking forward to a fruitful relationship with the Bahamas. He noted that he's thrilled to take a part of the Bahamas back home with him. Fly back to Bangalore, so it's again a, it's again a long flight, so on weekend I'm happy to be again with my family back. And uh, I think uh, uh, I can never get away with those memories here. It's been simply wonderful. Joan Davis-Roll, CNS News.